I've discussed variables that are the focus of our hypothesis, the variables of interest. Of course, in any study, there will be other extraneous properties associated with the participants and the research setting that vary between participants. These properties are not the main focus of our study, but they might be associated with our variables of interest, providing possible alternative explanations. Such variables of disinterest come in three flavors, confounders, control variables, and background variables. A confounder, or lurking variable, is a variable that is related to both the independent and dependent variable, and partially or even entirely accounts for the relationship between these two. Suppose I investigate the effect of reducing loneliness on depression in a group of elderly people. I lower loneliness by providing a cat to the elderly in an experimental group. An elderly in a control group receive a stuffed toy. Now, besides loneliness, the two groups might also differ in terms of the physical exercise they get, their age, or their susceptibility to depression, which are all variables of disinterest. Take physical exercise. The experimental group will likely be more physically active because they have to feed and clean up after the cat. So physical exercise is related to loneliness. The cat group, the less lonely group, is more active than the control group. Suppose physical activity is also causally related to depression. Being more active lowers depression. Well, then physical activity and not loneliness may account for a lower depression score in the experimental cat group. The relation between loneliness and depression is said to be spurious. The relation can be explained by the confounding variable, physical activity. An important thing to note about confounders is that they are not included in the hypothesis, and they're generally not measured. This makes it impossible to determine what the actual effect of a confounder was. The only thing to do is to repeat the study and control the confounder by making sure it takes on the same value for all participants. For example, if all elderly people in both groups are required to be equally active, then physical activity cannot explain differences in depression. Another possibility is to turn a confounder into a control variable. A control variable is a property that is likely to be related to the independent and dependent variable, just like a confounder. But unlike a confounder, a control variable is measured. Its effects can therefore be assessed and controlled for. For example, we could see if physical activity provides an alternative explanation by measuring it and taking it into account. Suppose we can distinguish inactive and active people. In the cat therapy, there are more active people, but some are inactive. In the control condition, most people are inactive, but some are active. We now consider the difference in depression between the cat therapy and control group, first for the active people and then for the inactive people. We control for activity, in fact holding it constant, by considering each activity level separately. If the relationship between loneliness and depression disappears when we look at each activity level separately, then activity explains away the spurious relation between loneliness and depression. But if the relationship still shows at each activity level, then we've eliminated physical activity as an alternative explanation for the drop in depression. The last type of variable of disinterest is a background variable. This type of variable is not immediately relevant to the relation between the variables of interest, but it is relevant to determine how representative the participants in our study are for a larger group, maybe all elderly people everywhere, even all people of any age. For this reason, it's interesting to know how many men and women participated, what their mean age was, their ethnic or cultural background, social economic status, education level, whatever else is relevant to the study at hand. So to summarize, a confounder is a variable that partially or entirely explains an effect on the dependent variable instead of or additional to the independent variable. A confounder is not accounted for in the hypothesis and is not measured or controlled for in the study. A possible confounder can be controlled for by keeping the property constant or by turning it into a control variable. A control variable accounts for a possible confounder by measuring the relevant property and checking the relationship 
between the variables of interest at each value or level of the control variable. Background variables, finally, are measured not because a possible effect on the variables of interest is expected, but because the background properties are useful to assess the generalizability of the study based on the sample characteristics.